You have a game, you say? I've got five star reviews of both Dune Part 2 and Rebel Moon Part 2. Yes. Two of the biggest sci fi epics of our generation. We'll see if you can guess. I think it's going to be pretty hard, honestly. People mm -hmm. love both of these movies, and these are both fi these are all five star reviews. Compliments the first movie, like Godfather Part 2 to Godfather 1, and Empire to A New Hope. I have seen the film twice now. My favorite thing about the second entry in the franchise is that the dialogue has stepped up since the first. One feels that the universe and its characters are fully realized. Their wants and motivations are fully realized, with minimal but the right touch of wry humor underneath, especially from one of my favorite characters, the Noble Prince. <laughs> blank and blank <laughs> deliver very reciting performances as two characters on opposite sides of the coin. Dune or Rebel Moon? That's so hard because that could literally, that could be either. As that's I'm, why I picked it. Come that's on. That's so good. Man. Okay, that one is Rebel Moon Part 2. It is Rebel oh Moon Part 2. Oh my god. <laughs> that was a coin flip. The Noble Prince being not Turok. Turok? Shirtless yep. man. Oh, it's man. It's perfection. People fucking love this movie. Yeah. All right, second, hey, not, second hey, review. Beautiful and Dark. I watched part two expecting a continuation of the interesting first part, but I left in awe and others were equally mesmerized and amazed. The film is a masterpiece, visually stunning, with a compelling story featuring well-developed characters and exciting performances. Today I was impressed in the best possible way. What a happy day. This is Dune part two. This is Dune part two. What gave it away? Because you said I left... Dang it, I was going to delete that bit. Ah, 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 ah. I, that's why I was like, I left in awe. Like, I'm like, what, this person go to a viewing yeah. party? Damn it. And I also thought, it's it's wrong of me to think. I, I thought... Yeah, never do that again. I thought, surely no one could think that the characters in Rebel Moon Part 2 are fleshed out. But then I remember they inserted that horrible scene where everyone just sat down and gave <laughs> their reason for hating the Imperium. In the perfect replica of The Last Supper. Mm -hmm. I was like, because we were watching it, I'm like, isn't that convenient that they're all on the one side of the table? I'm like, oh, it's a it's a biblical reference. They're doing The Last Supper because yeah. it's before the fight. 100 for 100 right now. Snyder. Genius level intellect. Next one. Best sci-fi action movie for 2024 so far. Part 2 takes its time to build characters further. It makes them trustworthy and it makes you love the underdogs they are. Smart relationship building so you actually care if someone dies trying. Final action scene are next level with crisp, clear sword fights. Then each kill group are given in ways to enjoy, which gives you time to understand the timeline. I rarely write reviews, but this movie actually needs it. To the film, SFX, 3DFX, and actors, great job. Looking forward to part three. This is Rebel Moon. It is Rebel, Rebel Moon. Because this is the review. I remember this review because that's the one that made me- So you cheated. Yes. I, when I read the ending sword fights, I'm like, holy shit, they both have ending sword fights. Yeah. Incredible. Zack Snyder's so watching Dune Part 2 being like, I don't think Denny <clears throat> watches Snyder movies. Yeah. <laughs> He's not out there like, mm, new Snyder movie out. <laughs> I would love to see that actually. Uh, next review. Amazing. It was better than the last three Star Wars. I thought it was amazing. A fresh new take of space sci-fi or space opera. It has an amazing plot slash storyline. And the cast is literally the best chemistry I've seen in a long time. I don't know how you can not like this amazing piece of art, because I want more. It's nothing like Star Wars, but still brings the same type of excitement and intrigue for the characters and then leaves you wanting more. It's a must-see. Watch it. This is Rebel Moon again. This is Rebel Moon again! <laughs> yes. You're really good at this, considering, like, I don't think I could fucking do this. Do you know what gave it was away? Was it the spelling mistakes? No, was it, the, it was- Was it the lower intelligence of the It was because the they said everyone had excellent chemistry. That made you think... And I remember how forced the chemistry felt in Rebel Moon last so night. So you feel like people saw the really shitty chemistry and were like, mm-hmm. I think... Like, I just get it, you know? People, people saw two characters just have a conversation that didn't go anywhere and went, they're like old friends. They saw that one tear come down to General Titus's face yeah. and they were like, oh... The emotion. They saw him dump out his um his cask of wine or oh, like yes, space his, whiskey his... and fill it with water and the and the main character lady be like, Yes, he's, he's doing he's no it. longer the drunk general. And I'm just like It was at that moment that I'm like, Oh yeah, he was covered in like mud when they found yeah. him and they like bathed him. There was a whole scene about <laughs> bathing General Titus. Like, who the fuck is this guy? Exceptional. I'm an atheist, but watching this makes me understand what a religious experience is like. This is Dune. <laughs> the production value in this is so huge and it lives up to the hype. They promised epic and they sure delivered. This is exactly what cinema was invented for. This is Dune. How did you know? Because religion. 
I think that's that's I, what's missing that from that just seems like such a Snyder fan thing for, to me being like oh this man get, <laughs> I'm an I atheist God. I'm an atheist but I love this well they did do the last supper scene true but that is, there's not enough religion uh, part three we're gonna get some religion okay okay you're really good at this i'm very good at shockingly this. good are you doing well at home leave a comment down below <gasps> sci-fi masterpiece part two is intelligent filmmaking at its finest an epic tragedy told on the biggest canvas imaginable with every department operating in unison and at the top of their game the first movie may have focused on the setup but that doesn't mean this one is rushing straight into the action maintaining that immersive slow burning nature See, this one's tricky. I, again, that's why I picked it. Rebel Moon Part 2. You dumb bitch. <laughs> no. That's Dune Part 2. Which, that's on. why I thought it would get you, because I'm like, ooh, it does... That, like that second or that last paragraph really got me, because I remember thinking of this movie, nothing's happening for the first half. Yeah, you half. thought it would be action, but then they do an hour they got you. of backstory again. And we're like, I thought we did this. I thought we got that out of the way. That's yeah. why this is Part 2. Okay, interesting. Imagine if that was what the Dune Part 2 was. It was just Paul, like, reminiscing. Yeah. He just tells Zendaya about his childhood for the first hour. Do you know what's so messed up about that scene? They all, like, tell their story, and then it, the camera just keeps panning, and it goes to the next person, like, well, when I was young, you know. Yeah, so they take turns, but then they cut so to Gunner. What? And Gunner's like, yeah. oh, he's, he's a farmer. He was just a farmer his whole life. The man, the one man that's, like, actually doing something, like, this is his planet. Mm -hmm. He has the most reason to be here out of all of them. And he has nothing to say because he didn't have a cool backstory. Yep. Loved it. Epic. Highly recommend. Incredibly well made. The pace that grew in intensity as the movie progressed, the deeply sincere acting, the legendary music, the battle, the atmosphere, and action were superb. What do you reckon? Dune. Wrong. What? That is a review for Rebel Moon Part 2. There wasn't a good soundtrack in the movie. Correct. And the review goes on, but it spoils it from here, so that's uh -huh. why I didn't read this bit. The harvest scene is so emotional and beautifully filmed, like a short movie within the main movie. I wouldn't say it's an original plot, but then again, it is a story told in many ways that is still great to live through and authentic costumes and the steampunk-esque spaceships were a joy to behold in this good old traditional sci-fi war movie. Great sequel to the first one and it seems more is to come. Hooray, Jack Snyder does it again. They wrote Jack Snyder. <laughs> a real fan. <laughs> Um, That's why I think it's like half of these feel like mm -hmm. AI. I don't know, but it knew about the middle scene. But holy shit, saying that that was a beautiful scene. In interesting. It was ten minutes of slow motion harvesting of wheat. I think people are, are confused between okay, no, what good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they understand what good is. People are confused what like a good scene is or good filmmaking. <laughs> there was it was just like people probably think that because that's not your typical scene it makes it different it makes it stand it out and that's though, what makes it that's good ex that's exactly the kind of shit he did in man of steel they would just cut to like i like man montage. of steel man of steel is bullshit um, henry cavill's hot and that doesn't change anything yeah <laughs> tell him that next up mm. one of the best and most immersive cinematic experiences i've ever had an absolutely breathtaking movie and breathe whoa in my life, I have watched hundreds upon hundreds of blockbuster movies, and I can say that with all confidence, Part 2 is without a doubt one of the top three best breathtaking cinematic experiences I've ever gone through. Incredible. Cinematography is a remarkable upgrade, even surpassing the already impressive visuals of Part 1. The ending of the movie teases more things to be explored in this one story alone, in this very big and rich world. If this isn't Dune Part 2. Guess. I'm throwing myself off this roof, which won't kill me, but it'll hurt me a lot. <laughs> Dune Part 2. It is. <laughs> no! It's not Dune Part 2. No! <laughs> it's Rebel Moon Part 2. No. I removed one word, which was war movie, just in case. No. But, yeah, no. see what I mean? No. This, this is ridiculous. People are just finding a Dune 2 review, <laughs> copying it, and then pasting it and saying it's from a moon. I love to talk about the cinematography because most of it's super shallow depth of field, blurry, and like a green screened background. Yeah. It's far. A lot of these shots, you can only see their eye, and then even their nose is blurry, their ear is completely blurry. It's ridiculous. But I, he thinks it's done utterly. Like, there's a lot of scenes of like things blowing across people's faces in slow motion. In slow motion. So much slow motion. And I'm like, that doesn't need to be in here. 
You know Zach? what else doesn't need to be in here? Doesn't need to be in there, Jack. The sci-fi fantasy epic of our generation. As a big fan of the Game of Thrones franchise, it's been a long time since I've encountered this level of world building and epicness. Would highly recommend to rewatch the first movie in order to appreciate the subtleties and foreshadowing better. Though it's not completely necessary since the movie is pretty self-contained and would please general audiences. There are very few directors working today that can tackle the genre as good as he can. This is Rebel Moon again. No, this one's Doom no. Part 2! I was like, you get okay. worse. I'm getting worse. I'm losing it. In fairness, again, this feels impossible. Do you know what it is? I'm doubting myself. Like, I, I've color-coded them, and I have to be like, oh. <laughs> A fun fact, I've color-coded Rebel Moon red, because Red, red Bull, Bull Moon. Moon. And yellow for June, because piss. sand. Oh. Yes. Because <laughs> piss Atreides. In my opinion, the movie is better than the first part in pretty much every aspect. The action sequences are absolutely mind-blowing and sent chills down my spine. Direction is impeccable and the story is absolutely fascinating. The movie serves as a great wrap-up to the story introduced in part 1, however, in my opinion, could serve as an even better setup to a possible masterpiece in part 3, which I really hope will get greenlit soon. Extremely recommended. If this is for Rebel Moon, I'm... I'm turning on my car in the garage. But it could and I'm, be. And I'm holding down the accelerator to fill up the Just garage. Just get a Cybertruck. You don't actually have to hold down the pedal. It does that on its own now. So it's for race people. <laughs> for racists. <laughs> um, Guess that's for Rebel Moon Part 2. That is for Dune Part 2. Damn it. I hope you're keeping track of his score. Editor me. Again, tell me how you're doing down below. Amazing Part 2. The sequel takes viewers on a thrilling journey through the cosmos, delivering jaw-dropping action sequences and heart-pounding drama. From its gripping storyline to its stunning visual effects, Part 2 is a cinematic experience that leaves audiences clamouring for more. One of the standout aspects of Part 2 is its impeccable storytelling, building upon the rich lore established in the first film. The sequel delves deeper into the conflict between the tyrannical leaders and the brave rebels fighting for freedom. With its intricate plot twists and well-developed characters, the film keeps viewers on the edge of their seat from start to finish. Each scene is meticulously crafted to heighten tension and evoke emotion, resulting in a truly immersive cinematic experience. Of course, no discussion of part two would be complete without mentioning its breathtaking visual effects, from the vast expanse of space to the intricately detailed alien landscapes. Every frame of the film is a feast for the eyes. But it's not just the visuals that make part two a standout film, it's also the performances of its talented cast. Led by charismatic leads and supported by a talented ensemble, the actors bring their characters to life with depth and authenticity. As the credits roll on part two, one thing is clear, fans are clearly eagerly anticipating the next instalment. This is Dune part two. No, that's Rebel Moon. No! And it's the most AI generated bullshit I've ever heard in my life, you fucks. Like, legitimately, the fact they constantly refer to the movie as Rebel Moon Part 2. I cut out that bit from this. But that's what AI does. AI loves to repeat itself. It likes to give you full context when it doesn't need to be there. Yeah. It'll be like, and it always quotes things. And every time in the review, it's quoted. What the fuck do you mean the vast expanse of space? We don't see space. Yeah, we do. I mean, not right now. That's a Scandinavian village in space. But, but the what? amount of time, at the very beginning, there's just a spaceship and there's like three planets. But it's like, that's not the vast expanse of... Uh, and what do you mean? Like, uh, what do you mean what I mean? Alien homeworlds and planets and stuff. It's I like, thought that might give it away, the alien landscape. Because, like, you know... What do you Scan mean? Scandinavia? It <laughs> <laughs> I mean, alien to me here in Australia. Or am I? Um, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Um, that's... Yeah, I don't... <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. What a shit review. It felt AI written for Shawzies. Ladies and gentlemen, the peak of filmmaking. This is the kind of movie that is impossible to do justice just by talking about it. It is the kind of experience you had once, but you never thought you'd be able to get again until this movie proves you wrong. This was a demonstration of power in what you can achieve with filmmaking. I thought the real blockbuster was dead, but I was wrong. This is the experience I craved. Doing part two. Doing part two. <sighs> Okay. All right. We're back, baby. Very enjoyable. After getting introduced to the part one by sheer randomness, I didn't have any expectations for this series of movies. The first one tickled all the senses of a true sci-fi. I was finally getting my hopes back up for the genre. Maybe we were getting a world filled with heroes, planetary battles, and causes to be fought across galaxies. As the first one wowed me on my feet, Backstories were forged, characters' attachments were real, I even cried a few times. I laughed, I really enjoyed this second part. I'm gonna say Rebel Moon just because I'm imagining someone watching Rebel Moon Part 1 
and being on their feet, but then also crying at the same time. It was feet like, spelled F-E-A-T. Oh. If that well, helps. Good on them. This is Rebel Moon Part 2, just because it's funny. Because of the lower no. intelligence. I'm starting to think you Rebel Moon fans might be fucking idiots. I'm calling you out if you're a Rebel Moon fan. Don't say that to the Jack Snyder fans. <laughs> I should comment. That should be the title. If you're a Zack Snyder fan, write us an AI generated hate comment in the comments below. I was going to call the video like Zack Snyder fans must be stopped, but now I might call it Jack Snyder fans must be stopped. (laughs) Um, Best film since Infinity War. Excellent 10 out of 10 movie. The director brought the fun back to film. The leads did amazing jobs. The bad guy did very well too. Would love to have seen more of him. Now I just can't wait for part three. Rebel Moon part two. Dune part two. Damn it. The perfect sequel. To see a successor so good that it almost outshine its predecessor is rare. Last time I saw this happen was with The Dark Knight. <gasps> That's a big call. I don't want it to be another Dark Knight because I want part three to ascend even beyond this, but the bar is set just too high. The visionary director once again succeeded in providing some new breathtaking visuals. Overall, it's a great movie and great success at a part one. The scale is set too high, but I know the director will have something new waiting for us in part three. Dune part two. Dune part two! Yes! I have no idea how you did. We'll put the put the score here. Oh my god, look at how I did. Look at the score! Whoa! <laughs> now do one if you did badly. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> and that's... That's it. So obviously people are fucking stupid. Weird. Stupid. Hate it. This movie sucks. This movie sucks, but tell us if you liked it. Tell us if you hated it. And subscribe either way. And tell us your score. Even if you hated the movie, love yourself.